Hi, my name is Alex. I'm founder of Springs and in this video I will show you how we implemented Hotspot in our billing solution. Hotspot is a type of internet access that we provide to end users based on days or based on the amount of time that they can spend online on the prepaid mode or also we can limit the data usage. The most important part of Hotspot is a self sign in page or self sign up and it's called splash page. So this splash page is hosted in Splinks uh, in Splink server and uh, this is how it looks. You can customize it, you can change the colors, you can change your logo and of course select the default country uh, for receiving the first SMS code. So I'm now logging to my Wi-Fi network. I don't have an account there so it asks me to enter my phone number first. So when I enter my phone number I'll receive one-time SMS code and uh, after the code is received I will go to the next stage. So here you can see that this splash page also asks me for my name, but this is not obligatory. This is something that we can configure so I can enter my name and then I do enter the code that I receive through SMS 4256. And when I click finish, the account is created in the database and MAC address is immediately saved in the database and then all further authentication will be done best on the MAC address. So I can select my bundle that I want to buy and this bundle is configured in Splinks. So I can have this short bundle that just gives me one hour online time or I can buy one day bundle or 30 days bundle. So I will try to buy one day bundle and the next step it will ask me to make a payment. We have different payment gateways that we support. One of them is Volcoin that works very well with the cash payments. Also it has a Visa and MasterCard integration and one for your voucher for South Africa. In other countries we do support other payment gateways. Um, so we do support for example NetCash or PayPal where a customer can top up his account or he can make a first payment. So when he makes a first payment let's go to our uh, Splinks and in the Splinks what happens here is that the account is created. So we see this is the phone number that's created. It was put on the name, the phone number and that's the hotspot MAC address that was saved. And uh, then under services as soon as the payment was done and there is a service we can see all our active or archived uh, services. Let's find some active customer. So in Splinks what we have under vouchers we have uh, list of customers and we can check online clients in the network. So what I'm showing is the live network of thousands of uh, hotspot users and this is an example of customer that is online at the moment. So we see his phone number, his uh, uh, tariff plan that he got and usage. So this is uh, one year plan. So we can see that is valid for one year but we can immediately find on the services what's exactly the plan. So that's the plan that has 500 MAC. So this is 500 MAC plan. As soon as he reaches 500 MAC, uh, he, uh, his data are already expired and his voucher becomes inactive. So this is one customer and these are all history of his usage of internet that he had in the past. Uh, we still have all statistics about this usage. And uh, when he connects next time, as I said, he doesn't need to enter all this phone number and uh, SMS codes, so he will be immediately authenticated based on MAC address because we store his MAC here. And you can see that as soon as we connect back to our network, it will not ask us for the hotspot. It should show us the splash page with selection of bundles. So this is the splash page and this should display us the bundle selection. So it means that the MAC address authentication is the basic authentication that we use here when customer is verified and then um, customer can buy his plants and continue using internet. How we do configure this all in Splings? So we do install the add-on that is called Hotspot and then we need to configure our tariff plans as the first step. So under tariff plans we have one-time plans that we call them and this is an example of configuration. So we can have one day bundle, seven day bundle, 30 days or 15 days. We can also have different uh, gigabyte, megabyte tariff plans. 
So if customer reaches 500 megabytes, he cannot use internet anymore and he needs to top up it again. So we set up the price and other conditions, for example, one day bundle. What is very important is that we work with the concept of partners. Partners means some entity that owns this uh, hotspot network. So we can have multiple partners, multiple resellers, and some of them don't need to provide type of plans that are free or that are limited by gigabytes transfer and they want to limit customer access only based on the amount of days and other partners they want to implement per gigabyte scenario so to define that we split all these entities and we call them partners and then under each single tariff plan we define which partner can use this tariff plan or I mean SSIDs of these partners and uh, networks of these partners. So as soon as we do configure our basic tariff plans, as I said, we need to go to our administration partners to say what corresponds to each single entity. So under partners, we have companies, resellers, or our locations. And under these locations, if we open edit, edit the partner, we see the hotspot SSID list. So we can have multiple SSID so we can have one SSID. So in this case we have only one SSID. If we open second one I think it will be uh, more than one. Now it's also one but you can put as many as you need SSIDs and these SSIDs will be um, gathered or will be covered by one this entity. So we have configured our partners, we have configured our uh, tariff plans, also, if we want to change the logo of each single SSID, it's also possible to do in Splinks or the design of Splash page. As you can see, this partner is called YCAN. So we can go to our main configuration of the company information and we select our partner YCAN where we see the logo of this customer. And when, uh, when the uh, end user will connect to the network of YCAN, he will always see this splash page. So that looks exactly that way. So if we select the second one, Glenn Cole, so we can see that this logo is used and the design is used for splash page for SSID that uh, is used in this by this entity. So when we configure our um, tariff plans and when we configure our um, partners and everything here we can go to our customers and see how they start registering so what they do when they immediately when they enter their phone number they appear here in Splings on the status new and we see their hotspot MAC address we see their phone number we can find it here and on the services we can see all their used or expired one-time access so all these vouchers as we call them or all this hotspot logins we store under vouchers list here customers vouchers we can go to list and it will show us all vouchers or we can click on online vouchers it will show us online usage or who are online so how many customers we have online at the moment we see that there are 371 customer connected to the network at the moment so in general if we want to see basic statistics of our hotspot usage we see that we got 39,000 new subscribers, active are 596 at the moment, and uh, there are 90,000 subscribers that or doesn't use service or they export, they have export their plans. So I think that's all regarding the basic configuration of uh, hotspot and explanation of hotspot and splings. If you need to configure splash page on your equipment, to the best way to achieve it is to find the description on our web page or on our documentation. So if we just go there and write Splings Hotspot, it should bring us, oh, let's connect to the working network first. And then it will bring us information about Splings Hotspot configuration website. So this is Hotspot add-on and Springs 4.0. It's exactly the same what I was explaining in my video, but we do have also a detailed configuration on the add-on. How to install the add-on, 
where to add the configuration. And then there is a configuration, for example, of hotspots, Mikrotik, how to run, how to set up the splash page on Mikrotik router. Also, we have description of how to do it on Cambium, but everything is quite straightforward. What you need to do, you need just to use this splash page that is generated for you by us and then put it as a URL uh, to forward all customers there. Thank you for your time. Hope you will use our hotspot and if you need any assistance, please feel free to contact us.